Would, <laughs> would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses, Kieran? <laughs> Gee, <laughs> That's class. Um, I'd rather fight one horse-sized duck. I think, yeah, I think I've had my chance. I think if it was the other way around, you'd just get swarmed, wouldn't you? But why am I even asking? <laughs> why am I answering this question? <laughs> oh, God. Here's a, uh, a funny one. How many teams in Bristol? <laughs> I think everyone knows the answer to that. Don't want to get into too much, but there's one. It's us, Bristol City. One team. If you had to pick one pasta shape for life, what would it be? See, this is interesting. This is one of those things where whenever I go to like Sainsbury's or like Asda or something, there's so much, there's so much variety, isn't there? And you're thinking there's all these different names, like penne, I think rigatoni or something. And I, I think it just depends on how you're feeling on the like specific day, like what, oh, I, fa I fancy that shape today or, um, but I, I'd say generally I'm a penne type of guy. What's it like to represent a national team? It's. It's really good to um, represent uh, Republic of Ireland. I've um, obviously you look at my name first and foremost, and the background of my family. It's uh, it's a massive honour every time I put that that shirt on. Um, and I, I love going back to Dublin. I used to go there loads as a kid with my family. Um, but it's it's the, one of the biggest stages. It's it's such an honour. Um, and although we don't have many games throughout the year, obviously we got the we got September. Um, uh, October, November, and then March. Um, but I love going away, um, so it's um, it's massive. Hardest player to get past in training. Uh, if I'm going up against someone, who do I? Do you know, what? Uh, Pedro Pereira is a tough one because uh, he's physically um, very strong. Physically very strong. He's fast. Hunty's another one. Um, he's really good with his distances. Um, he's quite good at deception as well on that on that front. Um, Bakes is also quite tough. Callas is quite tough as well. But I'm going to go Pedro Pereira. Worst singer in the team. I'm going to go with Thomas Callas. He might not like me for this, but boy, I remember he did an Ed Sheeran cover and it was horrific. Honestly, it was so bad. Um, I remember it usually when I was six years old, I broke my leg. Oh, it was horrific. Uh, it was funny. It was really funny, don't get me wrong, but oh, it was horrific. <laughs> <laughs> nah, who's done me with this one? When are you growing a beard? Nah. <laughs> um, it's my decision. Nah, honestly, I can't grow a beard. A uh, bit of tash maybe, but nah. Nah, I'm never growing a beard. Uh, I look at my brother. Um, He's also struggling a little bit, but nah, to answer the question, never. I can just say, I don't think it's going to suit me anyway. First football memory as a kid. Um, memory as a kid, it was, uh, I remember I was six years old. Um, my my nan's and my mum's, my mum's mum uh, took me to my first training session uh, at Killington uh, FC. Uh, I remember at Evans Lane, Not, no one will know it obviously, but to me it was it was a big thing uh, she was a really important figure in my life uh, growing up um, so yeah that was it why is your neck so long and that's from taylor moore taylor i really want to say i can't say it but i want to say it um, but i don't know taylor don't know mate honestly don't know i could say why is your head so big I'm going to say, it. yeah, why is your head so big? Would you rather sleep in a cold or warm room? That's another one from Taylor Moore. Do you know what? I've got a story for everyone. We, um, me, Josh and Taylor, um, in the off-season, we went to Bournemouth, um, Bournemouth Beach for the, for the day. Um, and we stayed overnight. So we're in a room, we had three beds in there, and the condition was we had three fans uh, in our room because of how hot it was and the window was small. So we had our three fans and Taylor Moore is known for from Tampa and all that. He doesn't have aircon on. So he's room with Sammy. Sammy's getting frustrated off him. So I wake up in the middle of the night and two fans are turned off. So I said, Taylor, why have you turned my fan off? And he said, oh, I was making too much noise. So I'm like, Taylor, honestly, like, and that just sums him up. So I'd rather sleep in a, a normal room 
like a normal temperature, not cold or hot, but Taylor likes to have it like 28 degrees in there or something. Would you rather never wear socks or never wear boxers again? Ah, oh, that's a tough one. Socks is like essential, but then obviously boxers are boxers. Boxers. No, never wear. I never wear socks. So I'd, I'd have to wear boxes. I think I'd just have to train myself to... Uh, but then again, the games, like, what am I going to do? Can't just pump... Can't, I've got the socks on. Just going to have to tape, shin <laughs> tape, tape on my shin pads. But then I can't just... Have, I don't want to get into full detail about it, but if I haven't got boxes on it, yeah. Okay, then we'll leave... Oh, fact, last, not last not least, Josh Brownhill. How badly are you missing me? Oh, Josh, I miss you, mate. Obviously, we chat every day, but I do miss you, mate.